वेलकम टू एक्सचेंज सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग माइग्रेशन टू एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन आफ्टर यू क्रिएट योर ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव टेनेंट एंड कन्फिगर योर एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन यू मस्ट कंसिडर हाउ टू मूव योर यूजर्स डेटा सच एज यूजर अकाउंट्स एंड द मेल बॉक्सेज टू एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन एक्सचेंज ऑनलाइन ऑफर्स वेरियस माइग्रेशन ऑप्शन एंड बिल्ट इन टूल्स टू फिट योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन माइग्रेशन नीड्स Although hybrid migration is most common migration method but you might consider other migration method based on your organization's requirement so let's see what migration options do we have the first migration option we have imap migration and it supports a wide range of email platform that can be a non microsoft email platform such as lotus notes or group wise but we have some limitations in imap migration Only email messages migrate to the online mailboxes. Calendar and contact information does not migrate. In this migration option, coexistence is not possible, and you can move a maximum of thousand mailbox at a time. The next migration option we have PST migration. Mailbox data is exported from Outlook to PST files, and then the PST files are imported in Exchange Online. Make sure that mailboxes must be created in Office 365 first and then you can import the PST files. The third migration option we have cutover exchange migration. It is good for fast direct migration and does not need a server on premises. Cutover migration copies all mailboxes from an exchange on premises installation to exchange online at the same time. and this migration method does not support coexistence you must migrate all mailboxes or none for example you can use the cutover migration if you want to migrate all mailboxes in a short period of time such as a few days or over a weekend it uses a outlook anywhere a feature of microsoft exchange to connect to the source mailboxes and it copies all content to the online mailboxes It also synchronizes on-premises distribution group and contacts to the cloud. After the initial migration, the exchange server and cloud-based mailboxes are synchronized every 24 hours. In the synchronization, new mail messages that are sent to the exchange server on-premises mailbox are copied to the corresponding cloud-based mailbox. And this synchronization is necessary until you finalize the migration process and change the DNS mail exchange that is MX record so that all new messages can go directly to the cloud-based mailboxes. The cutover migration now include the ability to also migrate public folders. This requires that you have at least Exchange 2007 SP3 RU10 running in your environment. Next migration option is Stage Exchange migration. It is similar to the cutover exchange migration except that stage migration allows for some coexistence which means that you can migrate mailboxes in stages you can use stage exchange migration if you cannot migrate quickly if the organization requires a longer coexistence phase or if a hybrid deployment is not an option and this also use the outlook anywhere for the connection and it requires a dot csv file after a mailbox is migrated directory synchronization updates the information and the user is reachable automatically in exchange online before you use the stage exchange migration you need to configure and install the directory synchronization tool our fifth option is hybrid deployment you can manage users on premises and online you can enable the cross premises calendaring smooth migration and easy offboarding and you can automatically redirects the clients hybrid migration offers the most flexible migration path a hybrid deployment of exchange server and exchange online provides the base of hybrid migration you use the hybrid deployment if you require a long term coexistence or if you do not plan to move all mailboxes to exchange online also hybrid deployment is the only option you can use if you need to preserve outlook.ost files on the client and if you preserve the outlook.ost file when you move a mailbox from the on premises environment to exchange online a full .ost synchronization is no longer triggered when the user opens outlook for the first time after the mailbox move and to use the hybrid migration method you must configure your exchange organization for hybrid deployment this involves directory synchronization between your on premises adds directory and azure ad for the tenant in which your exchange online instance is hosted 
you also need at least one exchange server 2016 or 19 machine in your exchange server organization and you need to configure the federated delegation when choosing the hybrid deployment there are two mode full hybrid and minimal hybrid with full hybrid you get the secure mail routing between on premises and exchange online you get a unified global address list free busy calendar sharing between exchange server and exchange online you get the ability to move mailboxes between exchange server and exchange online you can centralize the mailbox management you can perform a message tracking and you also get the option of cloud based message archiving for all mailboxes full hybrid is typically used by the large organization or when the on premises exchange server implementation has to be maintained for a longer period of time during or after the migration and if we talk about the minimal hybrid a minimal hybrid is best suited for the mid size organization that will complete the migration process quickly and want to decommission the exchange server on premises environment minimal hybrid and the full hybrid has a difference like with a minimal hybrid you do not get the secure mail routing between exchange on premises and exchange online you do not get the cross premises free busy calendar sharing you do not get the cross premises e discovery and also you do not get the automatic retention for archived mailboxes i hope the video was informative let's meet in a next video